How's it going guys? Our Triple XC, aka the Rage and Cajun here, and I appreciate you guys being here for another video here on the channel. Um Things are happening around here, and uh it's pretty cool because today is the release of Bakugan Champions of Vistroya. Uh I have here the Collector's Edition, or better known as the Deluxe Edition. Uh this was sent to me by Spin Master and the folks at WB Games, so thank you guys very much for that. Um I'm going to give you my honest thoughts uh, of what I think of this game. Um, you may have seen previous reviews come out for three-hour reviews. Um, that is something that I could have done, but I chose not to uh, in order to get a more full, in-depth look at this game. Um, I will say, and because you know, those of you who know me and have been around the channel for a while, um, I do have a pretty packed schedule most of the time, uh, as you can kind of tell by my upload schedule. <laughs> Uh, but, um, I did not get to finish the complete game. Um, I, I played three hours, of course, uh, and I played more than that. Um, and I, I wanted to keep going past the three hours. Uh, I wanted to finish the game, but I, I just couldn't. It, time did not allow me to do that. Um, and my review is coming from someone, uh, who has been playing other monster RPGs his whole life. And also specifically, very recently, um, I say that because I have been playing, obviously, Pokemon. Um, the Crown Tundra DLC dropped recently. Uh, and also, uh, recently, if you've been looking at my channel, uh, I've been getting hyper into Digimon lately. Uh, and Digimon Cyber Sleuth is a very underrated uh, monster, you know, monster mash RPG style game. Uh, and I absolutely adore Digimon Cyber Sleuth, uh, so far. I haven't finished it yet. I got it pretty recently, um, about halfway through, and I love it. Um, and so, this review is coming from the standpoint of someone who loves monster RPGs like this, uh, and how I kind of digested this and what I got out of it. Um, am I going to sit here? Uh, this, this part is for the people who like to click on a video and get instant gratification. Uh, I will break this down further as we go along, but uh, this is my this is my my basic review of what this game is. Um, it is fine. <laughs> that is what I've been telling people who ask me. Um, is this a fantastic or great video game? No, absolutely not. Uh, no way. <laughs> it is not a great video game. This game is meant for Bakugan fans who want to experience this brand with people um, and experience this brand with, you know, a, a, a modern system, no matter your views on the graphics or anything like that. Uh, it is a Bakugan game with the franchise on a modern system that you can play online with your friends uh, and enjoy a story that is entertaining. Uh, it can drag out in some places, um, but is still uh, enough to make me laugh at some points. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but is this a fantastic game? I'm not going to say that. Uh, you know, I had a previous video on the channel, uh, where I discussed this game after the original trailer dropped, uh, and that video did actually pretty well on my channel. Uh, and it's cause I broke it down and kind of tried to see past the original facade of what it was. Um, and you know, I had high hopes for it, but at the same time, I didn't I didn't think it was going to be, you know, groundbreaking or anything like that. Um, I kind of took it for what it was at the time. Um, and I still do that. Um, you know, I, I couldn't finish the game because of, you know, my schedule. Um, uh, but also, I mean, there were some points where I was like, okay, it's dragging out a little bit too long for me. And the, the, the main gripe I have with the game, uh, is, the, the, the battles in the game tend to last far too long for me. And, you know, um, the mechanics of the battles are not that bad. Um, you know, uh, we, we've all seen the, uh, the, the kid throwing the core around and stuff. And people were really, really not happy with that whatsoever. Um, but it, it is very much like the TV show, you know, the kids run around, they throw their cores at their Bakugan, the Bakugan power up. And, you know, that's kind of how the show goes. And in the aspect of did, you know, did way forward create a game that emulated the show? 
Yeah, they did. Now, whether or not that's what you wanted them to do with this game and with this franchise is make a game after the show is up to your discretion. Um, uh, it's not... It's it's not the most fun thing in the world. Uh, it, it, it does drag out with the battles, and that is my main gripe. But there are some things to it that are pretty cool. Is anything new? Is anything exciting in bringing something new to the table? No, I don't think so. Um, but does it let me see Trox on the screen? Does it let me you know manage my party and have a party of three Troxes if I want to? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Um, and that's kind of the RPG aspect of it. So, um, first of all, we're going to look at the materials inside of the Deluxe Edition. Uh, and then after that, I will break down my thoughts even more. That previous section right there was for the people who like instant gratifications on their review videos instead of waiting till the end. I will not give this a number of review. I will only review it um, emotionally, if you want to call it that. <laughs> um, and uh, we're going to bust this thing open so that everybody can see what's inside the Deluxe Edition. Uh, originally, to review the copy of the game, uh, I was sent a digital version. Um, and then this came afterwards. Uh, I don't know if everyone got this, because I kind of asked about it after the fact, and they were like, oh yeah, we can send you one. So I don't know if this is standard for the people who reviewed the game, but I really appreciate you guys sending this to me. Uh, this is really cool. we got the back of the box here if you're interested. Uh, it's just kind of talking about the game and kind of what's going on. Uh, but we're going to open it. There are some contents in here, including the fancy dancy uh exclusive toy included ultima dragonoid so we're gonna open it up uh and then continue the review after that all right so first thing out of the box obviously is the game um it's the same cover art from the you know the front it doesn't say anything about deluxe edition or anything though uh so if you want to cherish your deluxe edition on the shelf or something like that uh that's going to be your display box there on the ground that i put there uh the back side is the same as the box there's a couple more screenshots down here um, and just gives you an idea of what's going to happen in the game uh, gives you a little screenshot for the versus thing there uh, so that's cool if you're interested in playing with other people um, but more interestingly enough um, than the game itself uh, are the cool exclusive things that come only uh, with this game so uh, the first of those is obviously going to be the baku cores that we get uh, it comes in like this little side packaging um, that's just kind of stuck in the box. Uh, but first things first is the two Green Fist Baku cores. Uh, if you're a fan of Bakugan, you've seen these. If you're new to the series, uh, these are our equipment that we use during the trading card game to actually open our Bakugan and, you know, kind of perform battles. Uh, these have magnets in them, which le let the Bakugan roll onto. They open up and you can battle. So, um... These are not that great. <laughs> They're a minus two attack and a uh, plus 50 plus two attack. So these are not very good green cores. Sad to say, but you do get something else in here that's quite overpowered. Uh, next thing uh, is a Bakugan gate card. Now, if you are new to Bakugan, I have to recommend going watch a video on the Jet Kuzo channel where he talks about a new format created by him and his brother uh, called Bakugan Melee. Uh, and it is a really cool and interesting way to play the Bakugan toy battling game. This is not TCG involved. There is a Bakugan TCG. Whether or not you can find the materials to play that TCG are an entirely different story. Uh, and there are many YouTube channels to talk about that. Uh, and I'm not going to complain about it in this video. But uh, we do get a gate card that you can use for the melee format. So go check out Jack Kuzo's video. Um, he's also probably posting a review of this game if you want to hear his thoughts uh, instead of just mine. Um, but because this matters now, I'll read off the faction bonuses. Uh, 600 Pyrus, 100 Aquas, 100 Ventus, 300 Chaos, 200 Orlis, and 300 Darkus. Um, so if you're looking for a really powerful Pyrus team in your melee games, uh, you know, this comes in this set. So uh, next is a uh, promo card uh, that is very special. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. All right, so this is Ultima Dragonoid with a nice mirror foil uh, behind him. He's all full art and everything, um, but as you can see, uh, he has a thousand base B power. Um, and from what I've heard and seen, uh, they haven't said anything about this not being legal. <laughs> so yes, this is a thousand base power Bakugan that you can use, um, and it is exclusive to this game. Now, whether or not you're mad about that... <laughs> 
is up to you, but a lot of people are. Um, but uh, I'm just happy to have it. I'm using it as a collectible. Uh, I'm not, you know, playing competitively or anything currently, so uh, do with that information what you will. Um, but he got, he's got two green fists. Uh, he's got one attack, but if you land on a core, a green fist core, you actually get plus six. So you got 700, 1,000. Um, this does not have any evolutions to it, so it's kind of stuck out on its own. So you roll this bad boy into a magic shield with seven fifty or six fifty on it. You're sitting at sixteen fifty. Um, so I think that beats Hydras, right? I don't know. I haven't been playing in a while. So that is the Ultima Dragama, Dra Ultima Dragama, Ultima Dragonoid character card that comes exclusive with the deluxe edition uh, of Bakugan Champions of Destroya. And last but not least is. The boy himself, um, and that is Ultimate Dragonoid. Let's get a good look at him. So, um, first things first, I was kind of disappointed. I completely thought that this was trans going to be translucent plastic. Uh, it is not. It is not translucent plastic. It is, you know, solid red here. Um, and the only thing that's really different is there are some black accents on him. Uh, some gold on the face. Don't know if that's showing up. Uh, some gold on the face, um, and his little feet back here, which I've never actually noticed on any other one of the sculpts. So I guess, I mean, that means it's a good job right there. His little feet, uh, those are gold as well. Um, so uh, yeah, just get a good look at him here. Um, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> it's nothing spectacular. Like I said, I thought it was going to be translucent plastic. I'm kind of let down about that. But... Um, it is specific to this, so if you're collecting all the Bakugan, uh, this is a collector's edition you might want to get your hands on uh, because it is exclusive to this game. Now, whether or not someone's going to sell this after the fact for a certain amount of money, I don't know. Uh, but there he is for you if you are interested. So, uh, now that that is done, let's get back to talking about the gameplay. Alright, so, um, appreciate y'all sticking through that unboxing. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, these guys were sending it to me. I did, they didn't have to do that. Uh, they already sent me the digital copy. So that was really cool. I appreciate y'all letting me show this off for you. Um, but let's finish talking about this game. Um, have I had fun playing it? There have been parts where I've had a lot of fun playing this game. Um, there are times where the battles get kind of tight. Um, you know, it is a lot of building up your mana, trying to figure out how to... Um, maybe store that mana or energy, sorry, uh, to maybe, you know, what you can do, which is a cool thing. This is going into some of the strategy because people are wondering about how the strategy works in this game. Is there any strategy in this game? Yeah, there is. Uh, if that makes you happier to know, um, what you can do is load up a Bakugan. So your first one that throws out. So I started out with Ventus Trox, obviously. And what you can do is, um, charge it up and get it fully uh, filled with energy and then switch it out to another Bakugan. You, well, first of all, you can fully charge it. You can give it its faction ability. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, the, the cooldowns don't heal while it's not on the screen. But you can, you know, charge up its energy and charge up its faction ability and then switch it out and it holds that. And so one of the mechanics in the game is a team attack, which if you're new to Bakugan means all three of your Bakugan attack at the same time for this huge damage. Um, and in the, in the early game, it's an insta-kill on a Bakugan. Uh, later in the game, it's not. <laughs> uh, I got highly disappointed one time where I thought I was doing really good and it did not kill the thing I hit. And I spent three Bakugans full energy pools worth to not kill something. And I was very disappointed. Um... But you can store those Bakugans. So like a, a cool thing to do is have a big boy, right? So my Trox is a big boy. Trox has a lot of uh, energy source and a lot of big attacks. And after a certain point, once he's evolved a little bit, his energy pool gets big enough to where you can do his big Baku bite attack, which does a lot of damage. And then his smaller uh, Ventus punch or something uh, that does a lot less damage, not a lot less damage, less damage, but for a lot less energy. And so your energy pool gets so big that you can actually do both right back to back. And it's like a huge amount of damage. But even more damage is you loading up Trox, saving him to the sides, hit the R or the left, uh, right or the left bumper to bring out the next Bakugan. And my darkest Trox has a smaller energy pool, but also cheaper, um, cheaper attacks. So I would, 
you know, load up trucks, get them all the way there, throw them out, throw out darkest trucks, uh, and then go find me a big core real quick, pop it, and then use his small damage attack. Uh, it's still good damage, like 90 or 80 or maybe 120 sometimes. Um, and then quickly switch back out to vintage trucks and then boom, boom, two big hits. And it's a ton of damage. And, you know, you can choose to do that, right? You can just sit out there with your first Bakugan and try to get things going that way. Um, but it is a lot more fun, you know, to do that. Like another version of that is my Pyrus Pegatrix has a burning effect. So a, d a damage over time. Uh, and uh, if you do the Fury ability first, um, it, it boosts the damage over time for 15 damage per second to 20 damage per second. Uh, and, you know, you go and do your Fury move, which also drains the other Bakugan's energy. So you, you clear their move pool so they're not going to hit you because you use the Fury effect, drain their energy, and then you kind of got to run around, build up some energy, and then you use the, the, dam the burning effect. And then when you switch out your Bakugan, that burning effect is still there. So then you switch out to that charged up trucks, you go boom, boom, and then they burn to death. Um, and that's some of the strategy that you can expect to see in the game. Um, also, uh, moving past the three hour mark, which is, again, is what a lot of you have seen so far, reviews on that. Um, and, and, you know, not very kind reviews, uh, I'll say. <laughs> uh, but after the three hour mark, the game does kind of open up and get a little bit better. Um, I say that in the sense that the move pool grows and strategies grow because some of the moves have like maybe three different effects on them and some of those effects expand by having uh your bakugan's faction ability active so we know these as turbo uh, fury uh sacrifice domination and i'm missing one flow for aquas um they don't do anything specific to that faction it's just opening a door to your bakugan's secondary traits on their abilities which say if you have turbo active, gain an extra something. And so there's a bunch of moves like that. So it's like, what you want to do is charge up, activate your faction ability, then go charge up and use something that, you know, aggressively uses that faction ability. Um, and that's kind of the strategy of what you're thinking about. Knowing when to switch out. And, you know, that might get crazy on online, right? So knowing that someone has something behind that's... Um, all charged up or something you know you might want to save your energy for when they try to switch out and get that out and maybe try to get your attack off first or something to kind of chip away at it before it nukes you <laughs> uh, and then also obviously you have to worry about the team attacks if your opponent uh charges up all three of their bakugan it has to be three it, once one dies team attacks off the table um but once they charge up all three of their bakugan they do have a massive almost insta kill most of the time um with a team attack so um, the strategy is kind of there for people who are trying to make the game more interesting. Now, obviously the fact that I have to say you have to try to make the game more interesting, that fact speaks for itself. You know, I'm not hiding anything from you guys. Uh, <laughs> you have to try to make this game interesting. Um, but it's fun when you do. Uh, and, uh, I will stand by that. I think the game is fun when you, you know, try to make it a little interesting, uh, and you will have a good time. My only gripes are that the battles last a little long, um, for me, uh, but I have been told that the battles don't get so draggy towards the end of the game. You get better at the game as you play. And so you make better plays, you know, picking up the right cores at the right time, um, you know, picking up the red cores on the battlefield to charge up your uh, evolved Bakugan's resistance bar, which is a new mechanic that wasn't talked about in all the three hour or yeah the three hour preview videos and stuff like that, uh, because it's later in the game. But that is another element of strategy that comes out. Um, the red cores on the field will charge up a resistance bar, which is specific to each Bakugan, and when they evolve even more. You can switch out that resistance to resist other factions specifically. So like my Ventus Trox has a base resistance to kind of Pyrus and a few other things. But when he evolved into Hyper Trox, he got a, you know, resistance buff to Pyrus. But then when he evolved into Titan Trox, I can now switch that resistance buff between Pyrus, 
and Darkus. Um, and so it, it, it plays into the team building there where you can kind of change things around and uh, like some points in the game you can see what the other what the opponent has uh, before they actually fight you um, and you can you know back out of the screen change your team up set up your resistances how you want and make those battles a little easier for you so in that way it kind of speeds up the game a little bit but you still have to go through the whole battle um, the boss battles don't do that though so you have to be prepared for the boss battles because they kind of pop up randomly too like, there'll be somebody walk up, oh, we're going to battle, and then they don't give you the option to change your Bakugan. Uh, so that's a thing, too. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, it, it's it's fine. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to go run out and buy it. If you like Bakugan, I say you give it a shot. Uh, it's it's a full price game, yeah. The collector's edition's a little more expensive, yeah. Uh, but if you really like Bakugan, like, if you've been a part of this community... Uh, and you're one of those unwavering fans, you're going to love this. Uh, it, it might be hard at times for you, but I mean, if you treat it like I, I've been treating it, because I had to treat it this way, you know, you pick up and play it for maybe an hour a day, um, and then go, you know, go do some side work or do some homework, whatever you got to do. Um, I, I wouldn't say this is a binger, uh, because the, the battles do drag out so much. So um, those are my opinions. I hope you all appreciate them. Um, if you tried the game, leave your comments down below on what you think, you know, maybe they could improve or what you would have wanted them to do differently, or even, you know, leave what you really enjoy about the game. It's okay. It's okay to enjoy this game. I want that to be abundantly clear. It is absolutely okay for you as a fan to enjoy this video game and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. People are so harsh and so annoying and so nasty on the internet. Uh, if you feel like you enjoy something, don't be afraid to say so. And that's just a lesson for life. <laughs> I went teacher on you there for a second. Sorry. I appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully, uh, I explained some things for you. Um, and, uh, you know, I really, I really wanted to be honest with you and show you what I really thought about the game. Um, I will be streaming this, uh, on the channel here, um, in order for me to finish my playthrough because now I can, uh, I have my whole setup here so that I can do that. Um, and hopefully, you know, uh, we can finish this game together and have a good time. If you guys are playing it, if I'm streaming, maybe we can do some online battles and y'all can destroy me because I'm bad at everything I do. Uh, so hopefully I can see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Spin Master and Way Forward and, uh, WB Games. This has been a pleasure of an experience. Uh, hopefully my review wasn't too harsh for you guys. Uh, but I will be honest to my fans above all. So thanks everyone. Again, uh, you made this possible. This is a really cool thing. This doesn't happen for everybody. And I fully recognize that. And I will always appreciate things like this because of what you guys do. The channel's growing right now. And I appreciate all the new faces. Even though those new faces might not know what the hell this video was about. But <laughs> I really appreciate everyone being here. Uh, so thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Y'all have a good day or good night, wherever you are. See you later.